Let me just preface this video by saying that I was originally gonna clown on this fish, but the more I looked into it, the more I realized that it was the most insane oh thing that I'd ever see. Another one! This is the sunfish. Now, if you're anything like me, you might be thinking, Something right. right! To start, the sunfish is missing its caudal fin. You know, the one that fishes used to move. At some point in evolution, a functional, perfectly healthy fish decided to fuse its dorsal and anal fins together, creating a clavis instead of a fin on its rear end. As a result, the sunfish swims at a whopping 2 miles per hour, making it the second slowest animal on the planet. However, we can't talk about the sunfish without mentioning its size. Out of all 5 sunfish species alive today, they all share one trait. They're absolutely ginormous. Now your typical sunfish, the Mola Mola, averages around 5.9 feet long. Which if you ask me is perfect, like that's the ideal height. Unfortunately, some sunfish also crumble under societal expectations. And that's where the giant sunfish comes into the equation. Imagine a typical sunfish, but instead of feeding it food, you fed it anabolic steroids. Now you have a sunfish that at its peak is 11 feet long and weighs over 6,000 pounds. Which is actually insane. You know what? Let's play a game. What weighs more? The Eiffel Tower or the Sunfish? If you said the Sunfish, you're dumb as hell. The Eiffel Tower weighs 22 million pounds, you goof. But how does the Sunfish get so big? Well, besides having the genetics to grow over 3 million times its birth weight, a fish has got to eat. Sunfish eat a diverse diet of small fish, crustaceans, and small fish babies. However, its favorite meal is a good old jellyfish salad. And you know the saying, you are what you eat? In this case, it's true. Sunfish are impressively brain dead. A 440 pound sunfish was found to have a brain weighing 0 0.01 pounds. For reference, us humans have a brain that weighs 3 pounds, making our brain 300 times heavier. But if you're still having trouble visualizing it, you can reference this reddit post which says that it's the size of three human testicles which i don't even think is true it's closer to point three <clears throat> anyways the sunfish have a peculiar way of eating due to their teeth their four teeth in the mouth work together to create a beak which they use to break things apart now for jellyfish they can just gulp it down but if a crab stumbles into its mouth money 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 <laughs> fun fact the sunfish can't close its mouth. Yeah, hello, um, I don't really know how to explain this, but speaking of eating, sunfish themselves get eaten. A lot. When developing as a small fingerling, many fishes can eat them, such as the tuna. But as an adult, it's only prey to sharks, killer whales, and sea lions. But man, these sea lions are the definition of evil. Just look at their cute puppy eyes. DISGUSTING! While most predators, you know, eat their prey, sea lions have a different idea. Hey, why don't we just take a bite out the sunfish and run away? Yo, this is the funniest shit I've ever seen! Oh my god! If you thought that was bad, NAH! These fools clip off the fins and use them as underwater frisbees, bro! What the f- now it's time for will it survive um i think it's gonna make it i mean if this guy made it oh oh wait hold hold on let me let me check with the experts for this one nah he dead oh shit jokes on the seal though because the sunfish can lay up to 300 million eggs at one time and in case that didn't impress you they do this several times besides sea lions the sunfish have another mortal enemy parasites. Even with a protective mucus layer, sunfish manage to have up to 40 to 50 species of parasites on their body at any given time. Gotta give them some credit though, cause even with a 0.3 testicle sized brain, sunfish actually came up with a smart solution for these things. They've been recorded lining up, literally, at kelp beds to get cleaned off by blue perches. But for the really nasty parasites, they come up to the surface of the water and serve seagulls a pan en parasite. Man, talk about outsourcing. One unique behavior that sunfishes have is that they'll sometimes jump out of the water, and as expected, it looks like a toddler on a trampoline. Uh... Scientists speculate that this goofy maneuver is actually a way of getting rid of parasites. Now there are a lot of instances where sunfish have interacted with humans, 
But most of these interactions end up either in sunfish sushi or tax payments. The final thing I'm going to cover is the most scientific, but in my opinion is also the coolest part about the sunfish. Normally, bony fishes, a class of fish with, well, bones, have a unique organ called the swim bladder. This organ is vital in keeping bony fish buoyant, otherwise they sink straight down due to being too dense. There are plenty of other benefits to this organ that I won't get into, but yeah, point is is that it's pretty important. Of course, since this organ is useful and perfectly fine the way it is, Sunfish decided to get rid of them entirely. Instead, just like any other rational animal, they developed a gelatinous tissue under the skin that perfectly offsets the density of their bones and organs. Cause that's just easier than having a swim bladder. Right? The proportion of this tissue in sunfish can range a decent amount, but here's a rule of thumb. If fish big, fish have big tissue. No matter the depth, sunfish maintain a neutral buoyancy equal to that of water, contributing to their ability to dive pretty far down. For reference, this is the water column. Sunfish have been observed to dive 2,600 feet deep, meaning they're far into the twilight zone. A pretty impressive feat for a fish that flaps to swim. Now, it definitely gets cold down there, and since sunfish are cold-blooded, they often float to the surface to reheat themselves with the sun. And that right there is why they're called the sunfish.